hi everyone welcome back so today we will be creating a sonic image for these shoes right here and I, I don't think I mentioned welcome back to MAJ customs I'm Amanda I don't think I said that when I first started anyhow so <laughs> we're gonna make a sonic image for these cute shoes here that we bought for the little ones and we will be putting them putting the image on these wonder is it wonder nation from Walmart wonder nation t-shirts from Walmart okay cute cheap they were like what 398 I believe so all right so we will be using the easy color direct to vinyl all right because what it is it's vinyl sheets that you will be printing your image on and again in this package you get five vinyl sheets and you just get one mask like one the mask is what you layer over the image so you can peel it up once you get done cutting it out and weeding it and then we place that on the um, shirt and then we go ahead and we press it. So let's get into this video on how we made this image. So for Sonic, you guys, I'm gonna, let me turn you guys around, okay? So give me a second and I'll be back. Okay, everyone so here I am with my letters and my image all together and I'm it's just simple okay we're not gonna mirror again this is um, straightforward steps so we just upload our design we do not mirror make sure you size your image the proper size that you want for your t-shirts again mine are going on two kid t-shirts so 6.3 by 6.5 is fine for me I am going to go ahead now and hit well, it already, down here it gives you, let me show you, down here it gives you the option to flatten, which I already done so, okay? So now I'm just going to go up and hit make it, if that's, all right, and this is what you should get, something like this. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to get you guys back on my camera. Okay, so you should get something like this. And then now, over here, it's telling you um, your material size, 8.5 by 11, print and cut. Oops, something's blocking me. All right, so you should get something like this. So, and now all I'm going to do is go down and hit continue. Where's my mouse? There we go. And then it's telling me, I don't know why, it's, oh, I don't know why it's telling me that because I did switch out my um, Cameo 4 for the Cricut. So now it's telling me to send to printer. So I'm going to take the paper out of the pack. I'm going to show you guys that as well. So give me a second while I turn my camera around and then I'll show you guys the steps on how to load it into the printer. Be back. Okay, everyone, so we're at the printer. This is my printer. And again, know which side your printer is going to print. Mine, I know it is. this is the white side. So I'm gonna face it the white side down, just like so. And the gray side is facing me because the way my printer works is when it, when it rolls through, the white side is gonna come um, back out. Okay, so that's how you would load your vinyl in your printer. And then I'm going to close it, let it print, and then I'll be back. So here comes the image that we want printed out for the shirt. All right, here we go. I am going to let this sit, you guys. I'm going to let this sit and let it dry because I don't, I don't, want to smear the ink so I'm gonna let this sit let it dry and then for the meantime I can show you what let me put this over here I'm gonna show you what I will be using what cut um here we go what cut settings okay so we are going to go to browse all materials because for this um Caesar what is it for this Caesar um DTV, um, 
we researched a few videos and I believe they, a few of them said go ahead and use printable um, iron on light. So let's find printable iron on light. I'm just, oops, let me get them in here. I'm scrolling, didn't even realize I didn't have y'all on the camera. Sorry. All right, where are we at here? Printable iron on light right there you guys. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just click this one and Then down here, it's telling you to go ahead and click done All right, and now it's gonna take you to this screen and It's gonna ask you for your pressure settings now. I'm gonna use more if I'm wrong again Forgive me. This is what I know my husband to use. Um, he is learning Cricut as well, but he has used Cricut Design Space and the Cricut machine way more than I have. So this is what I've seen him use, so this is what I'm going to use. So now what I am going to do, it's gonna tell you to put your image on the mat. So I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'll show you guys that step as well, okay? Okay, everyone, so I'm back with my mat and I am going to just lightly place and I could have used a smaller Cricut mat too, but this one was closer to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And I'm just going to place it on here as straight as I can get it. Alright. That should be good. Now I'm going to go ahead and just slide it. It's The Cricut machine is blinking. Um, these lights right here are blinking. That's letting you know that re it's ready for you to upload the image. So that's what I will be doing. I'm trying to get you all in the camera. All right, there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and just slide this in here. And it's going to be loud. So I'm going to go ahead and let it cut. You're just going to hit this cricket button here. And I'm going to let it cut. It's telling me over here that it's preparing, it's scanning it. So because it's loud, you guys, I will be back when it's done cutting it all out. Because I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't want it to be loud and it annoys, you know, some people. So right now it's just reading the registration online, registration marks, whatever you guys want to call them. Okay, so on the screen it's just finalizing it. That's why it's it just paused, all right? And now it's gonna start cutting. So once it gets done, I will bring you guys back and then I'll read it um, so you guys can see, okay? So be back. Okay, you guys, so it's almost done cutting it out. Oh, the mat moved my camera. Sorry. All right, so now I'm just going to peel it right off. Then I'm gonna bring you guys down, 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 down. All right, so I honestly, this is my first time, you guys, so please bear with me as I weed this, okay? Well, it's really soft. I like, look at that, and it came off real, real easy. It wasn't even hard. Okay, I'm just weeding out the other pieces. And I don't know about this part. Okay, so this comes off too. I like this. 
and the steps weren't even that hard so you just pretty much upload your image flatten if you had to add I guess more than one and then um print and cut okay so now we're going to take the masking Here's my masking that comes with it. Okay, I'm just gonna pull it off. If I can get it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it off. And now I'm just gonna lay it right over my image. Just like so. And now I'm just going to take my squeegee, you guys, and make sure that I get this image, oops, sorry, get this image completely on the mask. Be careful in case it, you didn't get a, a piece. Okay, so now it is completely on the mask. Hold on, let me raise you guys up. So now it's completely on the mask. Okay, so now it's ready to be pressed. I will see you all over at the heat press, all right? Okay, you guys, so this is the image right here that I'm going to get ready to press. Um, move this stuff out the way. Okay, so I already have my, my middle section, my middle line, my guidance line. And again, I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay. I think it looks good just like so. Just like that. And then my butcher paper. Oh. Thought I had. Guess I'll just use this one. Right, just making sure it's straight it looks good it looks good everything about it is okay okay so here we go <clears throat> pressing it for three temperature 310 for 15 seconds again um sorry you guys i had to replace my battery it started flickering and all kinds of stuff so forgive me here we go Now let's turn you guys around so we can peel it. Can you guys see this? All right, trying to get it in the in the camera, you guys. And here we have it. And again, it came out so nice, so cute. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Simple and easy to use if you guys don't want to go through all that vinyl layering. Um, I ran out of sublimation shirts, or that probably would have been my other option was to put this on sublimation, but I didn't, I didn't have any. So I just used these and ran out and got the... Easy color uh, direct to vinyl paper okay so I hope you guys like this video again try it out it is nice and it is so soft you guys don't forget to like share subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye